I'm Ellis Martin, and this is Money Talk Radio. Join me now for a conversation with Terry Lynch, CEO of Power Nickel, which trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol PNPN, and in the U.S. on the OTC as PNPNF. Power Nickel is a Canadian junior exploration company focusing on developing the high-grade NISC project into Canada's first carbon-neutral nickel mine. The NISC project is located in Quebec province and is benefited by generous tax credits that cover 50% of exploration costs. A Hydro-Quebec substation across the road supplying low-carbon, inexpensive hydropower, a stable political environment with strong government and First Nation partners. It's located besides a major highway and nearby town, and there is shallow mineral depth. The NIST property comprises a significant land position with numerous high-grade intercepts. Power Nickel is focused on expanding the historical high-grade nickel copper PGE mineralization with a series of drilled programs designed to test the initial NISC discovery zone and to explore the land package for adjacent potential nickel deposits. Terry, welcome back to the program. How are you today? I'm doing great, Ellis. How about yourself? I am well, thank you. Where are you reporting from, sir? I am reporting from Zurich, Switzerland, over for the uh, Precious Metals Summit. It's great. Just was listening to Mark Faber, and he's always an entertaining guy to listen to. And But I came back, exited that so I could speak to you, Ellis. I really appreciate that, Terry. And you've got some fantastic news, which is why you've stepped away from Mark Faber for the moment. The Lion's Zone Discovery, in the words of your news release, roars again. When is this good news going to stop? Maybe I shouldn't phrase it that way, but you've got some high-grade gold, you've got high-grade copper, and it seems like it's never-ending. You know what? Honestly, the good news is that we don't see an end to it. Of course, it will end. We know it eventually will happen, but I can say from the westward expansion that we're currently doing is that we're very happy with our exploration results. So far, so good. And I think what people still haven't quite calculated yet is the tonnage we're building up is impressive. Ultimately, at the end of the day, grade and tonnage is what creates more value for uh, minerals that are discovered in the ground. And the more tons of resource you have and the more grade you have, creates more value in the ground and that ultimately leads to value for the company. We know that if you continue to build value that way, at some point, you'll get value in the stock. Let's define some of that grade and some of that tonnage right now, especially for those who are listening to your story for the very first time. Analysts have said, and in partners, that they forecast, I think it's around 5 million tons at 7% copper let's use that as a number. So we did 10,000 meters of drilling to get there. We're now drilling another 30,000 meters that started about almost a month ago now. So we'll start to report on those results probably about three weeks. It's going very well. Interesting enough, when we did the first round, pretty conservative drilling, I would say we used what was called like a fan drilling method. So we're basically drilling maybe every 50 meters from a successful hole, which is something you do when you're not really certain of how the geology is and you're getting full. And, and so we did a bunch of research like gravity at downhole EM and geochemistry to give us better guidance. So now going forward, as we do this 30,000 meter program, we're doing step outs of 150 meters. So say, for example, that hole 70, which was 32 meters of 7%, if we step out 150 meters from that and hit another hole of 32 meters of 7%, that would add 350 million of value in the ground or a $50,000 hole. So that, that is insane. Right. That's the type of value that can be added as we move forward in this. That's why it's such an asymmetric opportunity is that the grade is so high and the thickness is very attractive and it's near surface. So it's super cheap to drill. That's why we're excited about line zone. That's why we've been pounding the table saying to people, wow, this is an, such a, a tremendous asymmetric opportunity and we're continuing to evidence it. And all we can do is keep on delivering on the evidence and pointing out the value proposition for investors to do their own math and obviously get analysts to cover it and do the math and help people vote. And at some point people will come to the conclusion that we have as big shareholders that this is a tiger by the tail and you need to own as much as you can. I own a lot and they're not selling any of it. That's just me. Audience, we're both biased. So let me just put that out there, invest at your own risk, but this certainly looks like an exceptional opportunity. Terry, it's also indicative of the part of Canada, the part of Quebec where you are drilling. Yeah, it's an amazing geological area. When you think of the mineral wealth in that area, right? Miles away, we have the famous is Eleanor Mine that's owned by Newmont that's produced million ounces of gold. And then, of course, it's famous for lithium with Patriot battery metals and critical elements and many of these lithium discoveries. And then just a little bit further south, you got the Miranda area, which is obviously legendary gold and copper. So this whole area has been super richly endowed. And we think we've basically found another one like it, which is the very pulling metallic. So it's not just copper and gold and platinum group elements, platinum, palladium and silver and nickel. Steve Beresford, Dr. Ford, Chief geologist at First Quantum and MMG and IGO who joined our board, didn't know from Adam, came strictly based on the geology of the project. Says, look, these projects, these polymetallics are the most valuable mines in the world. 
and they can be very big. And he says, they're super rare, but when you find them, they can be big. So right now we made a discovery five and a half kilometers to the Northeast. We stepped out five and a half kilometers to, to the Northeast and hey, we hit it. And now we're working our way back to the Southwest and you're just racking up tons of possible payable grade in the ground. But when you do this, so Quebec is certainly the most amazing place to work. And of course, you've got the two for one exploration financings, which are amazing. Remember the last financing we did with Robert Freeman and Rob McKeown, we raised the stock price was 66 cents and we raised the money at a buck 25. So 1.9 times multiple. So that's in addition to being wonderfully endowed, the best financial terms to the planet. Terry, where do you think the market's going right now? I think we're in a nice sweet spot. Yeah. You know what? It's always hard to be Nostradamus with the market always wrong. So I won't make any predictions. I will say overall, I think the equity market are more toppy and the commodity markets are more bottomy. And I think that personally I'm overweight commodity investments because I just feel like they're going to outperform the equities in the short term. I'm equities in the commodity side of things in my resource investments. And I think that's going to be bullish exactly when you're going to get that big rip. I don't know, but when you go, because of the bad commodity market equity right now in the, in the mining sector, but when you go from bad to less bad, that's often the best move because you get like a double, triple, just because you move from bad to less bad. You get a low weight till it gets good or hot and get into a bubble territory. That's when you get the 10 baggers and 50 baggers. But I think you go from bad to less bad. I think that moves coming very soon. Terry, I expect some continued good news over the course of the next few months or the next 12 months. Thank you so much for joining me today on the program and enjoy Europe. Thanks, Alice. Have a great day. Cheers for now. I've been speaking with Terry Lynch, CEO of Power Nickel, which trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol PNPN and in the U.S. on the OTC as PNPNF. Get the complete story by going to powernickel.com. Subscribe to Money Talk Radio and the Ellis Martin Report. It's free. Go to ellismartin.com.